on the weather deck with meteorologist Lydia Knox. Tonight you could have the light jacket because it's not too bad out there. No, it's not terrible. I'm sure people who are grabbing about a uh, bite to eat are enjoying yeah. it. Good uh, night for it. Yeah, not nearly as cold. And even out here on the weather deck, I am noticing that most of the snow has now melted. I'm sure you've noticed that maybe in your backyard. Very similar case, not nearly as icy out there. Thanks to those temperatures that soared into the mid 40s today. We also have to deal with a little bit of rain and even some snow in spots early this morning, all because of a front that passed on through. This is the loop over the last six hours. You can see how satellite and radar shows how we had that line of showers make its way through central New York and then head east and make its way through the rest of New England. For the rest of tonight, we're going to be dealing with dry conditions under our partly to mostly cloudy sky. And earlier today, I'm sure you heard it or felt it if you were outside. Winds were really gusty at points. We had wind gusts topping out at 36 miles per hour in Syracuse, close to 40 in Fulton, 33 in Watertown, and a little bit stronger as you make your way closer to Buffalo. They reported a gust over 43 miles per per hour. The good news is tonight our winds are going to subside some and as we head on into Sunday, it's going to be mild once again, but we will have to deal with at least a few showers developing in the afternoon. We'll also see a little bit of rain tomorrow night, but once we make our way into the start of Monday, it does seem like it's going to be a mainly dry day before turning wintry briefly again as we head on into the month of March. Monday night into Tuesday, we will see another front slide on through, bringing us a few light snow showers. Most of the snow looks to end early on Tuesday, but as the that front pushes in some colder air. Highs on Tuesday might only top out in the upper 20s. It's not going to stick around for very long, though. We do have some brighter days ahead. Some more sunshine builds in by midweek and also milder air. I do think we're going to see a few more 40 degree temperatures in our forecast over the next seven days. 42 currently in Syracuse, 41 in Cortland, still 48 degrees in Elmira, almost 50 there, 42 in Ithaca and 43 currently in Binghamton. Overnight lows will start to drop closer to 30 as the night progresses we will be under a partly to mostly cloudy sky and remain dry as we make our way into Sunday morning. If you're heading out early on, no problems at all on the road. There could be some clouds to start off and I do think we're going to struggle to see some breaks of sunshine as that rain gets a little bit closer in the afternoon, arriving around lunchtime or just shortly after. Highs tomorrow will be in the mid to upper 40s. It is going to be breezy, but I don't think winds are going to be as strong as today. And tomorrow night with a front passing on through, you can see another line of showers making its way across central New York during the overnight hours. Once we're into Monday, we should see some drier conditions to start the work week. So tomorrow, a high near 47. March starts on Monday, 37 as a high then, and then 10 degrees colder on Tuesday. But that's about the coldest day of the week. You can see once we're back on into Wednesday, highs top out in the mid 40s again. And I do think we're going to see a mostly sunny sky on Wednesday. That's how things are looking right now. Another chance for a few spotty snow showers or flurries Thursday and Friday and getting a little bit colder as we head on into next week.